but we're going to move on now to something uh, really amazing in the state of Florida. You are watching on your screen now, if we can pull it up, NASA's biggest and most powerful rocket ever lighting up Florida's sky early this morning as it blasted off toward the moon. All part of the agency's Artemis project, which aims to have astronauts walking on the lunar surface once again within the next five years. But there have been setbacks along the way. It's not easy going to the moon. Mark Strassman has a story now from Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> Liftoff of Artemis 1. As a human-made spectacle, this Artemis 1 launch was tough to beat. NASA's most powerful rocket ever, pushing through Florida's night sky and Earth's heavy atmosphere with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. Today we got to witness the world's most powerful rocket take the Earth by its edges and shake the wicket out of it. And it was quite a sight. On Monday morning next week, Orion will fly within 60 miles of the lunar surface, then push 40,000 miles beyond the moon for space high drama. It's glimpse back on Earth. After orbiting the moon, Orion will re-enter Earth's atmosphere for the mission's top priority, testing the capsule's heat shield against temperatures of 5,000 degrees, about half as hot as the surface of the sun. From Houston, Rick LeBrode will lead the team in mission control. A successful mission could lead to a new era of moonwalking. NASA is hoping for a crewed lunar landing later this decade. Fair to say a lot's on the line here. Oh, yeah, that's very fair to say. I mean, yeah, we got to have a successful flight. Otherwise, you're not putting astronauts on the next, next mission. And what a launch it was early this morning. In an instant, the flash from the controlled explosion under the rocket turned night into day. And then there was the rumble of nearly 9 million pounds of thrust and the sonic wave that washed over all of us standing on this roof and made the roof shudder. You can expect to see some remarkable images in the days ahead. This spacecraft has 13 cameras on board. Images you'll see all the way to December 11th, the scheduled splashdown off the coast of San Diego. Back to you guys. That's cool. Mark, thank you very much. I love it.